everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome thank you all for joining me today so in today's video i have the brand new anastasia beverly hills nouveau palette i got an email asking if i wanted to purchase it early before it got into stores and i immediately got on there and ordered the palette and i'm so happy that i did i it's just starting to pop up all over youtube so i wanted to to get this video up pretty quickly so this is what the outer packaging looks like Okay, and again, as I said, this is the ABH New Nouveau palette. New is not in the title. The title is Nouveau. This is what the palette looks like. It is beautiful. You open it up and take the plastic out, and then you have these stunning, stunning shades. Look at those shades. So what we're going to do is swatch every one of them, and then I'm going to apply them to the eyes, and we're going to test it out. So... I'm going to swatch uh, left to right and then the next row down. Clean hands. Let me get a makeup remover wipe so that I'm all ready to start the second row. And let's get started. Okay. So the first shade is called Wings and it looks like um, an olive shimmer. These shadows are buttery soft. Oh my gosh. The next one is a sort of a peachy shimmer called Isle. The third one is called Bell. B-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. It's sort of like a medium brown shimmer. The next one is called Wisteria and it's a mid-tone matte purple. So there's the first four shades right there. And we're gonna do one swipe swatches. Those are the swatches right there. The purple one um, doesn't seem to be quite as pigmented as the shimmers. The shimmers are absolutely stunning. The um, shimmers are a little bit chunky um, when, when you dip your finger in there. But let me go back in and see if I can build up that purple a little bit more. There you go. Now you can see that purple. That's absolutely beautiful. So let's move on to the next few. Okay, so the next one is a is a shimmer called Lily. And it's like a mid-tone berry shimmer. Beautiful. The next one is Hope, which is like a dark brown shimmer. Nope, I'm sorry, a dark olive shimmer. And then we have a matte called Paloma. The nice thing I like about this palette is it's an all-in-one palette, okay? And then the next one is Fleur. It's like a medium pinky brown. And that's a matte. And there's the next four shades right there. Make sure I'm dry. Oh my God. The shimmers, I think, are going to be the star of the show for this palette. Um, they're quite vibrant. And... They are just beautiful. Um, those other two mattes are nice. That cream matte is perfect for setting the lids. And then that pretty pinky, mid-tone pinky brown there is perfect for the trans as a transition shade. So for me, this would be an all-in-one palette, which I like. I don't like buying a palette and then getting into it and realizing, oh my gosh, you know, I need this shade or that shade in order to make a full look. Okay, so let's move on to the last five shades. Excuse me, the last four shades. So the next shade is called Liberty. It's like um, a, a, a mid-tone uh, cool brown. And it's a matte. Wow. The next one is called Peacock and it's such a pretty blue shimmer. And it's a uh, sort of on the dark side. The next shade is Metro. It's very similar to the shade Fleur, which is that pinky brown, that mid-tone pinky brown. And this one is just a touch darker. And that's a matte. And then the last one is called Muse, and that's a very dark chocolate brown. And it's a matte. So there's the last four shades. These mattes, however, are stunning. Look at those shades. 
incredible. I need another white. Wow. I mean, beautiful, beautiful pigmentation. I cannot wait to put these on my eyes. Holy moly. Wow. Look at that. Dang. And some of these have some awesome staying power because I'm having a hard time getting it off my hand. Okay. So just keep in mind, as I said, some of these um, metallics are a little chunky, but they are so soft and so smooth. Oh my gosh. But when you're applying them, they're a little chunky. So I think you're probably going to have to tap off your brush. All right, so I've got my brushes here. My makeup is all done. Uh, the only thing I have to do is my eyeshadow and some mascara. So let's get right into the palette. So I'm gonna take um, the um, e.l.f. fluffy eye blender brush. It's nice and clean. And I'm going to go into the shade um, Paloma, which is this shade right here, this cream shade. And they're very, um, they're not pressed very firmly. So be careful, as I said, when you're picking it up on your brush, because there is going to be a lot of kick up. And right now I'm just setting my eyes. I have some NARS shadow primer on in light. And so I'm just going to go over that with this cream shade and just set that. Okay. Okay. That's nice. Okay, now let's go in with another brush. I'm going to go in with my BK Beauty uh, 202 crease brush. And I'm going to go into that wisteria shade, that sort of mid-tone purple shade right there. And I'm going to put that in the crease. Again, lots of kick up. And I'm just going to put that right in the crease. I love a good purple. That is such a beautiful shade. My goodness, that purple is stunning. That is beautiful. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. I have kick up though all over my desk here, so just fair warning. Okay, let's go into the um, the lid. What 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 are we gonna do for a nice lid shade? Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna do. Call me crazy. So I'm gonna go into this shade right here called Wings. I'm going to go in with a Morphe M503, which is just a nice flat brush here. And I'm going to pick some of that up. Again, the fallout is crazy on this. And I'm one of those people that like purple and green together. Wow. 
And then I'm going to go back in with my BK Beauty that has that light shade on it and just blend everything out. I have shadow all under the eye, which is terrible because I have my foundation on. Okay, let's go back into that shade called Wings. And because I have hooded eyes, I just like to bring it up a little farther. Again, I'm going in with my BK Beauty and just blending that out. The only thing I've noticed this does not have is a sh is a light shimmery shade. They're all sort of there's one two light shimmery shades, but they're all sort of you know um, they're all sort of light to mid tone. Oh, I'm getting shadow all over the place okay now let's see what am i gonna do here i want to do something different on the bottom so i have here from morphe this is part of the nyan collection this is the ff5 brush it's just a tiny detail brush so i'm gonna pick up the shade peacock right here on the bottom this beautiful blue and i'm going to dust this underneath the eyes oh my gosh that's a duochrome and it's more brown than it is blue very deceiving very deceiving well we're gonna go with it we're gonna go with it And then um, in the center there, see, I'm trying to use more than one shade here. In the center of the lower lid, I'm going to take some of this called Lily, that sort of berryish tone. And dust that in there. In the center part of the lid. Okay. And then in the inner corner, I'm going to take uh, some of that shade called Wings, the, the very sheer metallic um, olive shade. And I'm just going to dust that right on the inner corners here. And I'm just like, I'm trying to use more than one shade here to give this sort of a a good trial run. There we go. What do you think of that? I think that's beautiful. Okay, so let me put some mascara on and I will be right back. Okay, so I am back. I have some mascara on. So let's talk about, you know, what I think about this palette. First of all, I think the packaging is beautiful. It's sort of a hard cardboard, but it is pressed into sort of a fabric sort of um, pattern. And the color story, it's got a nice big mirror here. It's got a nice big mirror and it's got some beautiful, beautiful shades. I mean, I just made a whole look out of that without any other palette. Um, the, the shades are beautiful. They're soft and buttery. Um, but the downside on them is that they are softly packed and they are they kick up a ton. And so as a result, if you're not careful, um, you can get too much on the brush. So just be aware of that. But it's these colors are lovely colors. These are shades that I use uh, quite a bit. I have many palettes that I love that have 
you know, shades um, similar to this in there, but this is, this is, I think, unlike anything I have. This um, peacock shade on the bottom here is very deceiving. It looks more of a blue, but when applied to the, to the eyes, it is more brown. So that was quite deceiving. Um, the mattes are very creamy. They blend well. Um, even the, the shimmers blended super well on the eyes. I was very happy with um, the way the look came out with this. But the, as I said, the only downside to this is just the amount of kick up you get. So anyway, that is my take on the new Anastasia Nouveau palette. Um, you know, I think it's a great palette. Um, I don't mind the fact that there's a lot of kick up here because I always tap my brush off when I'm applying my shadow anyway. Uh, so the downside, of course, is that it just gets everywhere on your clothes, on your on your vanity, etc. Oh, and by the way, if you want to know what I'm wearing on my lip, I am wearing the Anastasia lipstick and matching lip liner in the shade Dusty Rose. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like and share this video and please subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you're advised of all my future uploads. Please feel free to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the Anastasia palette and I would like to hear your thoughts. Also, if there's any products that you want me to test out that might be new launches or new to you, I'd be happy to do that. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.